A quick note, if you guys want to be a co-signer and make 20% per loan, it's easy money. And these are going to good credit people that are business owners. And they are solid and they're not going to screw up the credit. And they're people that I've already funded for several times. And they have like one small thing like uh, like we currently did, just did around and they need a little bit more capital. Or maybe we're just a couple weeks or three weeks from having their inquiries removed. Some simple thing. These aren't dirtbag losers with shit credit. These are good clientele, good customers I've known for a long time. They pay their success fee. They are solid. It is a good investment. So if you get like, you know, three, you know, four loans and 25000 you just made uh, twenty grand doing nothing and the loans get paid off in like six months so I mean my co starter program is the best because I have the best clients I don't take any losers I don't take very many young people barely any young people because they're mostly idiots and don't have a fucking clue and they just burn all their resources and they don't have any, any consequent idea of consequences so these are like older business minded people you know that I have relationships with so when you're co-signing you're not you're not just doing this with the retard and you can see their credit and all this stuff and I'll introduce you and all these things and um, you'll see what I'm talking about so I mean that's one way to build up your file real easy make a lot of money and it's a win-win which is all that matters okay I'm gonna catch you guys at so what I actually forgot to say is that um, on all your 401ks, you can take out 100000 without any prepayment penalty. That is big money, and every individual is going to get a check for uh, $1,200 and $500 per child. Unless you owe child support or some other government back money, but for the most part, everybody's going to get that. Now, every, uh, well, probably three months for a couple cycles now is going to be more money because the covid virus is going to keep popping back up as this springtime and winter weather occurs uh, until we get a vaccine so there's plenty of money on the table and if you want to take advantage of it just give us a call how's everybody doing today uh this video is about um where's the money at right now if you want to keep your credit good, I know a lot of banks are saying they're going to be lenient on your mortgages, but that doesn't mean it's not going to show up on your credit report. So the thing is right now, you want to keep your credit in perfect condition and especially make payments on your car and the mortgage and everything to keep that credits going good because right now commercial real estate is at like an all-time high for purchases with cooperative sellers because they're having hard times with uh, mixed use and offices and things like that because everything's shut down as well as businesses and we're seeing a lot of businesses making deals that um, normally they wouldn't and they're carrying the loan and doing things like that so it's really critical you want to keep your credit score in perfect shape so you can take advantage of these opportunities and make super big money Especially when the stock market bottoms out a little bit more and you want to pick up a bunch of stock. I mean, there's big money in that as well. So, that is where things are at with your credit and some opportunities. Now, if you want to talk about big money, um, you got SBA disaster relief money, which we will do consulting work on. and not a success fee on this because we'll just set you up with this and then be able to get you the money for um, SBA forgivable loans, SBA emergency grants, um, and SBA disaster loans. And then if you want to transfer over into uh, the SBA 7A or express loans, we can do that as well. Now, everyone thinks, well, let's just go to the website and fill out the paperwork and do that. Well, certain things exclude you from other things in, in the order and the way you do it and everything on the file has to be really perfect because you're talking like 30 million business owners and they're swamped so if you do a file and it's incorrect or you do it out of order and it's not even set up right and your paperwork's not lined up well you just lost you know average the average SBA 
loan right now is like 500000 to $2 million at 3.75% on a 10-year loan. Those um, loans are going to take about 60 days to get approved. Everybody's going to go through them. On the, um, the SBA emergency disaster grant, uh, up to 10000 it can't be a nonprofit and it can't be a startup, but you have to be in a business, you know, February 12th and on. So, I mean, we can fill that out for you. And the disaster relief for $2 million. Uh, but on average, uh, the calculation, the amount of loan you're going to get is basically, basically going to be like, um, um, it's going to be one half years, one and a half percent of last year's growth, gross pop profit, which is going to equal what you're going to get with the maximum of 500,000. Now there's some other exceptions where we can go for the 2 million on a bigger corporation, things like that, but that's. Uh, we can get into that later. On the um, the ten thousand dollar emergency grant, I mean, they say three days, but they've been. I mean, it's gonna probably be like, you know, a couple weeks. But we can get you to fill that out. The beautiful part about it, uh, all this money is that um, on there's portions of the loans that are forgivable that you will not have to repay back, like the utility the your rent, the interest, and your payroll is can be deducted off of the loans that we get you for the SBA. Also, um, your net operating losses for like 17, 18, 19, and 20 can be recalculated into it to recover more forgiveness on the new loan. So these new loans can be out to uh, I mean, it can be out to 30 years, and you're talking like 3.75%. It's like you can't get anything better than that. The maximum you can get is $2 million. This round of relief is for $2 trillion, and they're going to probably do an, another couple rounds. So basically, um, there's going to be another probably $4 trillion put back on the table within the next two or three months. So if you want us to do all those for you, we can. Um, we have the accountant, the tax preparers and everything else that you need. So you'll give us a call and we can set this up. Uh, we'll make sure that we give you the credit for the salary, the payroll taxes, your independent contractors and all the employees that, that you laid off, we can get up to 10000 per employee with the maximum of their income of uh, 100000 If they make more than 100000 you can't get them more than, well, it ends up being like $8,333. But, but overall, general employees less than 100000 you can get credit for them for each one of them. So it ends up being a lot of money. The thing is that you plan it. We do it right in the right order, the right sequence, and a complete perfect file with all your paperwork. We got all the forms, everything you need. Um, you just have to give us a call and we'll get you set up. Now, there's uh, another set of loans. It's called the Paycheck Protection Emergency Loan. Uh, it's for for small businesses under 500 employees. You've been in business since February 15th. and you're able to show like um, the average monthly payroll for the last year the loan is going to be about two and a half times the amount of that so this includes like your wage earners your 1099 your salary people commission your health care and your insurance premiums so all that counts except for the Employees, if you have any employees over 100,000. Um, like I said earlier, salary, rent, utilities, mortgage interest, all that can be taken out of this loan as well. Um, once, once you get the loans, the disaster relief loan, and then we set up the payroll paycheck protection emergency loan, we're going to have to go back 
and apply for the forgiveness. So you're going to have to have all your documents and expenses in order so that we can do that. So, like I said, it's two and a half times the average of your monthly payroll. So if your payroll was like, you know, 30 grand a month for last year for payroll, you're talking like you know, 75,000 on that. If you want to give us a call, we go over this in more details. Uh, this type of loan um, is on 10 years at 4% rate and the payments are deferred for six months. So there's zero loan fees and zero interest for six months. We just have to have your tax documents, document, document your payroll costs, and get that over to us. And then we can put it all together. The uh, 7A program, which we can do as well, is um, from $500 to $5.5 million for working capital, cash flow, for good good character businesses, you can't and you can't be late on like all these loans. You can't be late on any government loans. That means if you got a prior SBA loan or you're late on school loans. Sometimes we can get exception on a school loan if it's deferred, but um, normally you cannot be late on any government loans. And also this 7A loan we can do once uh, because there's an aspect of it that does benefit you if we can show that you've been turned out at traditional lenders as well. So it just has to be a profit making U.S. business. Can't be a nonprofit. Um, and we're just going to have to put all the paperwork in, get your NAIC code, your North American industry class code, and set this up in the right order and get it submitted for you. Um, key businesses that this works for, I mean, is like any normal business that you can show you've been um, damaged by this coronavirus and the setback in your lower income, like restaurants, motels, hotels, B&Bs, assisted living, nightclubs, bars, retail, business services, auto repair, car washes, preschools, daycare, self-storage, gas stations. Um, but the only bad industries would be like farming, financing, uh, insurance or something like that. Other than that, it's pretty much wide open to like all your main businesses. Um, startup so startup working capital, if you want to go with the startup on SBA, you know, we'd have to get your projections, business plan together, and has been a good industry, and you have to prove that you have industry experience and technically collateral. On these other loans, the SBA disaster loan, the paycheck protection, and the grants, you either have to have A, good credit, be working cash flow or C collateral not all three like normal but uh, compensating factors to pull this off now whatever you have and what do you provide me and your paperwork and your taxes and everything I can put those together and we can find the best facets that you have and present the best story the pre the best um, best way to view your portfolio and loan application so once it gets assigned a loan officer uh, from the SBA within well because they're so busy on the disaster relief loan you're talking maybe 60 days out but once we get the loan officer and I present it in the right light and you have all the paperwork and it's a perfect file you get approved and it goes right through now if you do it on your own and you do it in the wrong order and you do do things um, that exclude one thing from another and don't include one thing on the other and it's back and forth uh, it's just going to get kicked out and you're talking you're going to have to wait again in front of 30 million people 
as well. So, also, um, like I mentioned earlier, um, SBA purchases can be done with like 10% 10, 10 down, and I have the have the accountant, the attorney, and we have all the sales paperwork. The only thing we have to do is just basically evaluate the business you're buying with like, if you're going to do it with the aspect, cost to replace the assets and the value, de determine what the real value is on that. The market ratio, you're going to compare it to like the other business earnings in that type of industry, whether it's sales, assets, past businesses, and their post earnings, how it compares to that, or you're going to go off the income approach, which is like the cap rate, discount rate, and those things. Those are the three types of ways you're going to value the business, and each one you want to maybe pick the strong point or the weak point, depends on how you want to play it. And then um, if we get a cooperative seller, we can get them to carry back something. Or if we just come up with the 10% down, uh, we could pull that off. And if you need to purchase a business, uh, and you want to have a whole checklist of the rundown of every single thing we need, we can do that. All this stuff is all consulting stuff. None of this stuff has a back-end fee. Uh, because you can't really charge back-end fee because it's all government stuff. But it's big money, and this first round is $2.2 trillion. So in the next couple, well, next month or two, they're going to do a couple more sets of relief loans. So by the time it's done, you're talking like $6.2 trillion. So if you want to take advantage of that, give me a call at 312-473-4163. Thanks.